Hey there, Central Texas Brides. I'm Britt Frank, host of CTX Engaged, your podcast for everything Central Texas weddings. Today, I've got two very special people in the studio with me. I've got Holly Tucker and her fiance, Spencer Brenner. How are you guys doing today? We're good. Doing yeah, good. how about you? I'm doing great. I'm really happy you guys were able to make it in. Yeah. Uh, what have you been up to? How's Engaged Life? It's it's fun. It's long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, by the time we get married, we'll have been engaged for about a year and two months. So yeah, it's it's a longer engagement, but we're we're enjoying it. That means that. everything's going to be perfect and planned to a T, right? That's <laughs> what I'm hoping for. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Well, uh, really quick, I know that most of our listeners are from our area here in Central Texas. They know who Holly Tucker is, but just a little bit of background. You were on The Voice. Yeah. I think it was back in 2013. Is that mm-hmm. right? That's correct. You were in the final six. Yes, I was top six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, super cool. So you're kind of into, I, I know you've been doing some philanthropy lately. You got engaged. You're planning a wedding. What else have you been up to? You know, I've been doing uh, music full time. And so I, but I also have a day job on top of that. So I actually work at my uh, home church, First Baptist awesome. Woodway. And okay. that's a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying that. Um, but I do still get to travel and do music whenever I, I need to. And they're super supportive of that. So I'm on the road touring full time as well. So it's awesome. kind of like I'm kind of juggling everything. You're really busy. Yeah. Do you yeah. have any new music in the works right now? Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually in the process of writing for the next part of my album. Um, I do have some new songs ready to go. It's just making albums is expensive. Uh-huh. So um, while I'm yes. planning a wedding, I'm kind of putting most of my financial focus towards that. And new music will be coming next year sometime. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure fans are looking forward to that. <laughs> Let's talk about your wedding. Yeah. So when's it going to be? So it's going to be February 12th, 2022. All right. And uh, we're just, we're really excited. We're getting um, married. The ceremony is going to be at, at First Woodway. And then the reception is going to be at the Pavilion at Carlene Bright. Yes, such a yeah. gorgeous venue. Yeah. Now, how did you two meet? Well, would you like to tell that story? <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> so uh, um, I, I used to work as a paint contractor for a, a friend of mine. And uh, one of his close friends was Holly's brother. And so I was able to meet him through that. And we grew a quick friendship. We got pretty close. Uh, and then uh, he invited me to his bachelor party and then later to his wedding. Okay. And uh, at his wedding, I, I want to put in here, I, I've actually I had seen Holly a few times. I'd met her a couple times, but, you know, she had, uh, had a boyfriend or whatever, and, and I had my own thing <laughs> going on. And so, and that was, you know, years past. And so uh, when I had gone to the wedding, her brother's wedding, I had I'd met Holly again. I had seen her again. Okay. And she was single at this point. Yes. And so... <laughs> <laughs> finally. <laughs> so after some, uh, some liquid courage, I finally worked up the nerve to go talk to her and and, and uh, we talked and we danced all night long and I uh, got her I think I got her Facebook or her phone number or something like that and and uh, and then I ghosted her for a month. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. Seriously, I yes. did. And it, it's not because of the regular reasons. A month <laughs> for about a month. Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, uh, so what happened was, is I knew that she had a long term boyfriend, and that it had recently ended when I had met her at the wedding. And even though sparks flew, it was just it was one of those situations where I needed to give her the space that she needed to recover and to recuperate because I knew that if I wanted a, a relationship with Holly, it wasn't going to be something uh, that I wanted to be a. Uh, 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 rebound, you know, I, I didn't want to be rebound. I didn't want to be her uh, rebound or whatever. I, I wanted it to be a serious thing. And so I gave it the time it needed to kind of cool off. Plus I had some other things that I had to tie off, you know, yeah. in a couple of <laughs> situations. So, um, uh, after that, I, I, I didn't see her again until, uh, that was in October is when I met her at the wedding. I didn't see her again until December, um, at her brother's um, um, ugly sweater party. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. And I wore the ugliest sweater and got her attention again. That's and what so, it was. It was <laughs> the nice. ugly sweater that won me. That's what won. <laughs> do you still have it? I do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Great. You got to keep it forever. <laughs> it's, it's ugly as sin, I'll tell oh, you that. Very, very, very <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that we, we had a great night that night. Just got to t- talk and hang out some more, and I got our number, and... Uh, some of our friends were kind of like pushing us to go on a date and stuff. I mean, we all, we already wanted to, but yeah. um, they kind of they kind of pushed it. Yeah. Um, and then yeah, I asked her out, and our first date was the day after Christmas, um, twenty nineteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Uh, and then uh, yeah, and then we've been just been together since. So we made it official on uh, Valentine's Day of twenty twenty. Which is why our wedding day is Valentine's yes. Day weekend. Yes, I love that. And you're wearing pink. 
Yeah, and yeah. It all comes together. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to hear more about y'all's proposal. So, like, what happened and how did you do it? How'd you pull yeah. it off? So, uh, I'm, I'm a pretty romantic a romantic person, I'd, I'd, I'd say. Can I preface this with one thing real quick? Yeah. So, okay, I told him, you know, as we got, you know, a little later into our relationship, I just said, look, if you ever propose, no pressure, but if you ever propose, <laughs> I just have a couple of, like requirements or suggestions or whatever you want to call it yeah just for whatever you have to do make sure i have my nails done and make sure that there is a hidden photographer somewhere to capture thinking and i said if you can get our family and friends involved somehow with the whole thing then that's a bonus right so those were the things he had in his mind now continue that's that's a pretty good i like it it's a good list right? yeah it is though it's 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 insurance you gotta you gotta plan it and kind of like trick her you know because i can't just go send her to get her nails done i mean i I could and (laughs) right i have to set that up in you know months in advance and yeah how'd you you do that your nails done yeah (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> so what happened was, is around the same time, um, uh, I was getting ready to, I had asked her parents in, I want to say November, um, and so I, I had gotten the permission and, and I, I, had, uh, we, I got the ring without her knowing, uh, we, we had talked about a design and stuff, but she didn't okay. know and moved through with <laughs> mm-hmm, it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I got the ring and I asked her parents and they got all that done and uh, I, was, I was still thinking about when to do it, you know? Yeah. Um, um, I knew that she wanted to get her nails done for her birthday. Uh, and her birthday's uh, February twenty or December twenty second. I'm, I'm sorry, December twenty second. Yeah, you're thinking wedding. I'm yeah, thinking wedding. <laughs> so many dates going on. Uh, yeah. So, but I knew that she wanted to get her nails done for her wedding or for her birthday. Uh, and so uh, her her brother and his wife they they took her to the nail salon and they got her nails done. And I actually went with them. And so that was part of the ruse. Was yeah, the right. Oh, he's here. So yeah, right. yeah. Uh-huh. Yep. So he made sure that happened. And yeah, then the nice. proposal part. The proposal part, right? So I I redid our first date. So so it was a day after Christmas. I took her to the same place. We got uh, it was dichotomy over downtown. Nice decorated all Christmas. Oh yeah, so that pop up yes. thing. Yeah. Yeah. So we got some drinks down downstairs. Got some coffees or eggnogs or whatever it was. Yeah. And uh, we went upstairs and uh, we talked for a little bit. And I I think I said something like, uh, Holly, through the time we've been together, there's just been so many signs, you know, that uh, that we're just supposed to be together. You know, that we're gonna, we're supposed to be married. Um, and I said, I've been giving you signs that I want to marry you, and I hope you've been, you know, reading them. <laughs> but I've got one more sign for you, and I told her to turn around. And when she, we were on the rooftop terrace. When she turned around, in the parking lot was all of her family and all of my family. And I had made these signs. They were like big wooden pieces of, of uh, plywood with uh, like letters spelled out with rope light. Aww. Rope light. Rope light. Yeah. And so uh, it spelled marry me. That's yeah. so sweet. So the family was involved. Yeah, they were all holding there. up the sign. Yeah, uh, and and photographer. The photographer everything. was there. Uh, <laughs> my, I had my buddy. He uh, he was he was hidden. And Holly's met some of my friends. He, he had, she hadn't met this guy. And so I was able to hide him. And, yeah. And he he you know we I kind of like motioned to him as we passed. Like get ready to take the pictures. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Here it comes. So we yeah. got the photographer there and everything and. And obviously she said yes. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> she said yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Awesome. Okay. So did you immediately go into like planning mode or did you give it a little while? Like how quickly did you start the whole wedding planning process? Um, it was pretty quick. I mean, because I knew I've been watching Say Yes to the Dress yeah. and like all these <laughs> wedding shows and stuff yeah. forever. So, um, you know, I've, I've always wanted a really big planned out day. And so I knew that in order to have all of those details and have it the way I wanted it, it was going to take a long time. So I immediately got to work on the big things like the venue and the mm-hmm. catering and that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. So got all that done pretty early. Right. And then, uh, and then I, I took a little bit of a breather before I started into all the little stuff. Okay. Yeah. So you, speaking of venues, you picked the Arboretum yes. at Carleen Bright. Mm-hmm. Uh, what made you choose that venue for your reception? Mainly uh, uh, just two things, the closeness to the ceremony spot, so we won't have to travel very far, it's real close, okay. and then um, also um, the space limit, you know, it, it, it has space for about 360 mm-hmm. um, with, or sorry, 360 without a dance floor mm-hmm. and 300 with a dance floor, so we were looking at about a 300 um, guest list. Pretty big wedding, yeah. so you will still be able to have the dance floor. Yes, we will. That's excellent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Excellent. What did you pick for your wedding colors? Uh, Okay, so his favorite color is purple and mine is blue. Okay. And so I got to thinking about what kind of flowers we could use. And then I remembered seeing a wedding on, um, 
I think it was uh, it was one of those wedding shows, not Say Yes to the Dress, but one of them. And it was where this wedding was all surrounded by uh, blue orchids. Oh, how because, pretty. Yeah, because those are the main colors. Yeah. The blue orchids and the galaxy orchids is the mm-hmm. dark purple and the blues right. and stuff like that. So our flowers and all our all our colors are kind of surrounded by blue and purple. I love that. And yeah. Wolf is doing your, your yes. floral. So mm-hmm. there's guarantee that it's going to be gorgeous oh yeah wolf um, did the one that's right behind me yeah which is stunning yes, so is. absolutely everything yeah. they touch turns to gold so mm-hmm. you know it's going to be excellent for sure um i think shauna hamby of weddings by shauna is your wedding planner mm-hmm. so uh did you book her pretty quick or was she one of the like <laughs> more detailed vendors that you chose later um you know i think i got my venue and uh the church booked like the first thing off right off the mm-hmm. bat but then after that was Shauna yeah she was definitely in my top because I knew that she was very sought after mm, yes. also knew I was going <laughs> to try to plan everything for Valentine's Day weekend right so I, that was another reason that I had to start getting all the big things and um and Shauna has actually been a member of Woodway for a long time awesome and, um and so I, I've known her from from years growing up oh so it's a personal relationship as well yeah yeah that She's makes great. it really special and she is an excellent wedding planner so yes. <laughs> she will do very very well. Yeah. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, you picked your dress already. Is yes. that right? Uh-huh. Okay. From Giorgio's? Yes. Okay. So your dream dress, mm-hmm. you found it there. I did. What was that? How, what was that process like? Like going in there and picking it? <laughs> did you try like a million different dresses before you knew the one or? Um, I definitely looked through a million different dresses. <laughs> um, I, I've, I'm real picky about what I want. Um, I wanted something really unique and I'm trying not to spoil it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No I just spoilers. Jump in and say, she told me it was purple. And so I, I can't yep. think it was lying enough. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but you know, we're we're getting married in February and he knows some of the details like I've always wanted sleeves so mm-hmm. um, I definitely was looking for that I was looking for something that I really haven't seen before that was my okay. main thing is that I've like I said watched all these shows growing up and right. and I just I wanted something that stood out and that really made me feel different and um, but still like I also want to feel sexy and I want to feel modern and I want to feel all these right. kind of things. Um, you know, surprisingly, I'm a country singer, but I don't I don't want a country rustic wedding. Right. Um, I want more formal and modern. I so, love that. Yeah, yeah you're a, changing it up. Yeah, I mean, we'll have some rustic elements, but really, it's it's more of the modern type of stuff. And yeah. I wanted that to be reflected in my dress as well. So going to Giorgio's, I just I knew they'd take care of me, and um, I went to a couple other dress shops, mm-hmm. but nothing touched what Giorgio's had. Good. I'm so glad to hear you found the perfect dress. Yeah. You mentioned that you were going for a touch of modern as far as like the decor and everything at your wedding. Yes. You went through Pinley Party Productions to get yes. your rentals. Is mm-hmm. that right? Yes. Okay, cool. And I guess they have a pretty modern selection. Yes, they do. Um, they've got, I mean, we all of our colors, of course. But, yes. I mean, we're using touches because it's going to be in February, so mm-hmm. it's going to be kind of a colder atmosphere. Yep. So we've got touches of velvet. and. Um, oh, I love that. Yeah, like just that things that make it feel really warm and yeah. cozy, but also really romantic and modern, like I said, because um, it's, it's still Valentine's Day weekend. Right. I want all of our guests to kind of be able to share I guess, in our love story. Yeah. I don't know if that's cheesy. Well, yeah, no. (laughs) I think it will be a really romantic way for everyone to spend their weekend. Yeah, hopefully. (laughs) Yeah. No, it's going to be beautiful. Um, As far as we're talking about your vendors, so there is one more I want to ask about, and that's the cake. Yeah. Have you decided on your flavors yet? (laughs) Yes. So that was one of the first things we did was cake tasting (laughs) because I wanted to get him involved. Yeah. um, And to get him really excited about the wedding planning. So I was like, I know every guy loves that part like the most. Right. Very few things excite me more than cake. Uh, (laughs) Same though. That's like my favorite part of every wedding I've ever been to is the dessert. Yep. Yep. So Shauna suggested that we go with uh, Kim at All Sugared Up. Yes. And we tried a few different places, but Kim really was, she had the the best selection. Yeah, she's excellent. Yeah, yeah. And I'm also really picky with um, icing in particular. Mm -hmm. I do not like buttercream. So we're not going with that. And I Um, love buttercream. It's just like, it's really, really sweet. It is, Maybe I'm just sensitive to that. 
So what she's doing is she's got her specialty like cream cheese yeah. slash buttercream Yum. mix, and it cuts a little bit of that Definitely. Out. So we tasted, um, I think, the almond uh, amaretto or mm-hmm. something. So that was a really good flavor, yeah, and then good. the Reese's, and yeah. Um, so yeah, we're she's got us all hooked up. Oh You're my gosh, the white go. chocolate raspberry. Oh, yes, so good. I think yeah, that's probably one of my favorite cake flavors, just yeah. in general. Are you doing like a really big cake? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be doing um, definitely three layers, um, but like probably two of those are gonna be fake layers. So it's gonna yeah, be five yeah, layers. Yeah, yeah. So it'll be a yeah. really tall cake. Yeah. <laughs> Is he doing a groom's cake? Yes. I am. Okay, I am. awesome. Is it like a traditional groom's cake, or do you have something kind of crazy cooked up? I think something crazy. I don't know. <laughs> no, you... Yes, it is something crazy. So did she? Yeah, I, I remember Planet. what it is. I don't, I gotta admit, I'm not good too good on traditions as far as like what it is and stuff goes. So, like, traditional groom's cake, is it just like just a cake or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's, it's like a chocolate something. cake. You know, yeah, the okay. traditional groom's cake is yeah, okay. chocolate cake. Simple. Sometimes there's strawberries involved. Yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. But yeah, we got. I've got. I'm a. I'm a big nerd, so I've got a lot of nerd stuff yeah. implemented on it. So Sweet. It should be fun. He's a huge gamer. Yes. Okay. So we'll just say what that. what game. Uh, all of them. All games. All every, kinds of every games. Every of them. Okay. Like board games, video games, card games, all of it. Yeah. He's his. Okay. Him and his whole family actually <clears throat> love games. So. My family is also big on board games, so yeah. I can relate. And my son. My 11-year-old is obsessed with video games. So right. Oh, nice. There I'm familiar go. with the gamers. <laughs> okay, so Lone Star Catering, I mm-hmm. think, is, is y'all's caterer. Yes. Y'all got to go and do a taste test there as well, I guess. We did. He actually didn't get to be a part of that one because oh, he had to work. Man. Yeah. yeah. Have you it's, had Lone Star Catering, though? She, she, she brought some leftovers. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's brought, very good. Leftovers. Very good. Yeah, and we're actually doing something a little bit unique for our food, too, because... Our last name is going to be Brenner. So yeah. So we're going to do breakfast for dinner. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. That's so smart. <laughs> I love that. So are y'all going to do it like buffet style or will it be like served to the table? It's going to be stations. Okay. So a little bit of mix. So there will be some, some tables with kind of more buffet, but really we want to spread it out to keep people safe with, you know, COVID and, and all of the, the health concerns and stuff. Right. Too. No, so. that makes sense because. Yeah. Here we are, and we're still working around COVID. So yeah. it's safe to say we'll, we might be doing the same thing by February. Yeah. So I'm really yeah. looking forward to the donut wall, though. <laughs> nice. The donut, donut wall? wall. Uh-huh. Yes. Yep. Yes, I never met a donut wall I didn't like. That's, That's true. For sure. <laughs> So you guys are doing Lone Star Catering for dinner, and you're doing All Sugared Up for the cake. Are there any other food vendors involved? Yeah, we're actually really excited for our cocktail hour type of the you know, day, we're going to be doing um, George's Crazy Wings for our guests. So uh, we're, we wanted that to be a part of the wedding because George's is where we actually had our first kiss. That is so, so sweet. It's a cool little, we, we like every little touch of the wedding to have some sort of personal aspect to it. So I love that. You're, it, it's not necessarily following a trend. It's more following y'all's story. Yeah. And that makes it super romantic. I've actually never had George's Crazy Wings. So oh it, my gosh. they sound amazing. Oh my they crazy. are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little bit of ranch. Good. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Next time I go, that's that's what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Well, anything else y'all want to talk about as far as your upcoming wedding or Holly to any of your country music fans? <laughs> Um, you know, I, I'm just really excited for it, obviously. I mean, I can't believe that we're at this point, we're uh, less than four months away. Um, and I'm really excited. He's planned a really sweet honeymoon for us too. We're going to go to Jamaica. So. Oh, how fun. You got, you got put in charge of the honeymoon. <laughs> yeah. Best part. How long will y'all be there? Uh, a week. A week. Nice. A week, yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. He's great with those really big, like, gestures you know so like the honeymoon is is a great gesture and he's you know planning all of that and yeah i mean he designed this ring for me from kindlers that is so sweet um yeah so he's just i'm i'm just really you're killing it man yeah and you're wearing a holly tucker hat (laughs) i gotta represent yeah doesn't get more committed than that (laughs) yeah okay well obviously we'll be sharing pictures of y'all's beautiful wedding when it does happen um but in the meantime holly uh where can people follow you at yeah, um, so all of my social media across the board with Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, TikTok, all of it is at Holly T Music. 
make okay. it easy. Oh, Great. and then um, I also have my website, hollytucker.com. Absolutely. And uh, we will, of course, tag you in the notes of this podcast so yeah. that that'll make it even easier for everyone to mm-hmm. get in touch with you guys. So congratulations on y'all's engagement. Thank and I you. absolutely cannot wait to see how gorgeous your wedding turns out. Thank you so much. We're really excited. Thank you for this. No problem.